Hello everybody, my name is Super Paul Games, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to do a custom thumbnail in GIMP. GIMP is an image or photo manipulation program that you can get for free online. There will be a link in the description. We're going to assume you have downloaded it and installed it, which is very quick. Uh, if you want your GIMP program to look like this, click on Windows, pick Single Windowed Mode. That should kind of lock everything into a single window. That's just my preference. You don't have to use it. The most important thing for us here is on the left is we're going to want to be able to see layers. Either you'll see a window somewhere with layers, or if you don't, once again, just click on Windows. Go to Dockable Dialogs this time. Scroll down to where layers are and select layers. So what we're going to do is create a new layer. We're going to go to File, New. For width, we're going to pick 1280. For height, we're going to pick 720. The reason we're going to do that is that's the smallest HD size. That's what I like to work with. You could use another dimension. If you have a screenshot from your game, you could just directly pull it in. Next, we're going to, if you look here on the left, this is the layer here. It is a background layer. If we click the eye, it makes it disappear. Now we're going to go to the upper left, select File, and then Open. So what I did earlier is I got a lot of screenshots of images from my Let's Play video. And you can do that in a multitude of ways. You can take your Let's Play video, put it into almost any standard video editing program, pick the frame you want to be on, the image you like, and then usually go to Export Image or JPEG or Bitmap, whatever it is. In this case, I'm using Bitmaps. Alternatively, you could go online uh, to Google and find an image you like and download it and use that. So we're going to open number one. As you can see here, we have two tabs now. We have the tab of the image file we just opened up, and we have our original background one. Like I said, if you just wanted to open up the image file and go from there, you can to save yourself a step. So I'm going to right-click on the image. I'm going to go down to Select All. You can use shortcut keys for that. I'm going to right-click on the image again. I'm going to pick Edit, and then I'm going to go down to Copy. You can just hit Control-C. That is the shortcut key for that. Then I'm going to right click again, oops, no, then I'm going to click, sorry, I'm going to click over here to our original file, I'm going to right click, I'm going to pick edit, I'm going to pick paste as new layer. And the reason I do that is look, we have a brand new layer here, which was this old image. We're going to get rid of the old image, I'm not going to save the changes to that. So we're back here in our original thing, if we click on the eye, it makes it disappear. So we're going to pick the letter A. If we click here to the left of layer, we will get tool options, which will set us up for our fonts. Right now, I'm just going to go with um, size 180, and we'll go with sans bold. You can pick whatever you want. You can scroll through there, a bunch of options. In fact, you can add your own later on. For color, I'm going to just go pick white. You can pick any color you want, obviously. All the way to the bottom right is white. All the way up to the top left is black. We will go all the way down to the bottom right. So I will grab and drag. What I'm doing is creating a text box. And then I will click in it and I will put the number one. But I don't want the number one over here on the right. What I, or on the left, My, I'm really good at directions. <laughs> on the left, I would like it on the right. So I'm gonna go to justify, and this isn't like justifying your existence. Right now it is left justified. We will select right justified. And now if we go to layers, you'll see the T here. This is a text layer. We can click on the eye to make it disappear and reappear, is above the photo layer. And if we want to modify that, we would just click on the text layer, we would click on the layer, and then we can either add to it or we can drag over the numbers and put in a different number. We will start with the number one. Now I want to add another text layer, so I will hit the letter A again. We're going to grab and drag over here to create a new text box. I'm going to change the text things here because I want this to be a little smaller. I'm going to pick 120. You can pick whatever you want. I'm just doing it quickly. We will call this big, big, but see already that's too big. So I will change the size to 100. You can also click on the corner here and make it bigger or smaller. Click on there, big, but baseball. But I'm, I don't like how this looks. I want this to be left justified. So I will come over here and click less left justified. There is also a centered, if you'd like, or filled to fill the area. So we're going to go to left justified. And I am going to go to file. I'm going to go save as. And I'm going to call this 
base ball thumbnail. It's a dot .xcf file. And I'm going to save this. Now you don't need to close the file or the program down and restart it. But the reason I'm showing you this is I'm going to go to file now. I'm going to go to open. I'm going to go to where did I save it? My documents. That's awkward not remembering where I saved it right away. Baseball th thumbnail. And the reason I show you that is when you load it back up, when you save it as an XCF file, you can see all the layers are still here. I can easily click on a layer, like if I want to change it to big, we're going to click on A again. Click on A to modify the text, click on the text thing. If I wanted to make it big butts baseball, you can see all the layers are still here, easy to change. So I want to save this now as an image for YouTube. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go down to export as I'm going to click select file type by extension I'm going to use a JPEG you can use a PNG or ping file you can use a gif we're gonna pick JPEG we're gonna call it baseball thumbnail one and we're going to export it and I want a million percent hundred percent quality and I'm going to export it so now if I go into file open I will see right there baseball thumbnail one JPEG I can open that up a quick second and there is your final product and you can directly upload that to YouTube I'll show how to do that in a moment so let's close out the thumbnail a quick second and go back to our original layered image now let's say you want to make another image but with a different number just go and change the number on your layered image go to file again go to export as you're on JPEG already instead of baseball one baseball two now you will have it would help if I actually click the button hit export export again now you'll actually have two different files you can pick one with the number one number one with the number two but let's say you're like I want to change the background image again all right go to file open look through your files again until you get to the next screen cap you would like or image you find online do whatever you want we're gonna go with number two because I technically want a different image for number two. We'll do this as number three. So as we did before, I'm going to right click, go to select all. This is kind of the longer way without the keyboard shortcuts. You can use the keyboard shortcuts, edit, um, copy, or you can hit control C. I'm going to X this out because I don't need it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go paste as new layer. If you just hit control V, what will happen is you will have a floating layer if you do that if the images lock up and it kind of becomes gray just right click on it and anchor it and it'll make it a normal file and you can see right now hey cool I've got a new layer here's the new layer but unfortunately I can't see the number two because the layer I just pasted in is above the number two if I'd been smart I would have picked probably clipboard and then do that but the very easy way to solve it is click on whatever layer you want to move clipboard and these arrows are super handy so I can move this down or I can move it up above the other layers. So we move it down and boom. I can go once again now to file. Export as. Okay, we're, we're, we'll, we'll call this two. I said three, but we'll call this two. We're going to replace it. Export. And now we can open up two different thumbnails we've made this way. And if you notice, if we just click between them, the titles are in the exact same place each time because we save this as a XCF file with all the layers in place. You can see the numbers are in the same place and it looks pretty solid. So let's go to YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by this thumbnail. All right, everybody, I'm going to go up into the upper right hand corner and click upload. This is if you want to put a thumbnail on a video you have not uploaded yet. I will show momentarily how to put, put a thumbnail on a video you've already uploaded. We're going to pick a new file to upload. So I have found my video I want to upload. It's going to start to upload. It might take a second, but you can see here in the bottom right, there's a place for custom thumbnail. We will click on that and then go find our file. So after a little bit of looking, I found the file. It's right there, the image file. I'm going to select it and pick open. You'll see it's uploading the image at the same time we are uploading the video. 
In fact, it'll upload obviously a lot faster because the file size is a lot smaller. Right there, there is our thumbnail. I'm going to click publish. When the video goes live, the thumbnail will automatically go up with the video. And that's what you will see. The other way to do it is we're going to go to our main panel, main channel page. I'm going to click on video manager. Here is a video that I already uploaded earlier, but it doesn't have a thumbnail. So I'm going to click edit on it. Right here you have the room for all the descriptions. Here's the thumbnail they picked. The button for custom thumbnail is right here. So click on that and find your file. It took me a little bit, but I found my file. That's why it's good to save it into a folder that's easy for you to find quickly. Uh, just select your file and hit open. And right now it is uploading. I will hit save. I can click this to go back to the video manager. And you can see right there our brand new thumbnail is there. And when the video goes up, everybody will see it. Well, everybody, that was an incredibly simple tutorial on how to make thumbnails with GIMP for YouTube. I hope it was a helpful place to start. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.